If you want to be successful on Webtoon, bring your characters and stories to life. Get on subscribers, hundreds of comments, thousands of likes and views. Earn money by doing what you love. Honestly, it's not very likely to happen. In all fairness though, even if the probabilities really are against you, of course you should go for it. Do it! Just do it! Nothing is impossible! But, be prepared for countless hours of work each week, missing sleep, missing gatherings with friends and loved ones. While others will be out partying, you'll be stuck inside, drawing. You're still here? Good. That's the determination one needs to be able to pull through such a project. But, even if you're okay with all the others, you need to be prepared for something else. Be prepared to fail. I'm a webcomic artist myself and I've been drawing since I could remember. My current webcomic has 64,000 subscribers and many people read it each week. My second one, which I upload whenever I find time, has 12,000. But it wasn't always like that. Let's go back in time and see what I did and what I did not do to be where I am today and speak to you about that. Where I failed, where I succeeded and how I did that so that you can do it yourself for your own webcomic. My first webtoon. I started making webcomics when I was in my first year of university in 2017-2018. I missed outings, sleep, hours from studying. I would spend the weekends inside trying to catch up on my webcomic art, while everyone else was out socializing and partying. In total, I uploaded 15 episodes. That means one episode every week for four months. And did you know how many subscribers I got? 300. Now, don't get me wrong, 300 people reading your webcomic is an amazing number and honestly it was more than it ever deserved. The art was really bad and I don't only mean anatomy wise or the rendering. The format was awkward, some panels were stretched out and the lettering was off. I even used Comic Sans on the first few chapters. But do I regret it? Of course not. Because even though it was never destined to be something great, it was great for me. It was an amazing lesson to delve into the world of webcomics. It made me train my patience, my discipline, how to put work before fun, and it made me more eager to chase my dreams to become a webcomic artist. My second webtoon. And here lies the beginning of the journey. A few months after I had left my first webcomic, of the summer vacations of 2018, when I had finished my exams and finally found time, I decided to try again. I'm not alone this time. With my sister, we have been creating a story, world building the plot and fleshing out our characters for years, since 2010 or so. More than eight years of world building, characters that we loved more than anything and some meager experience. We felt more ready than ever, so we started. We designed the characters, again, we already had some early designs from before, and we started making the story, and it failed. <laughs> Honestly, it was even worse than my previous comic. We uploaded 7 to 8 episodes, and we got less than 100 subscribers. And looking back at it, you can easily tell why. We had so much to say, and we didn't know how to say it. This time, it wasn't just the art that was bad. And the art wasn't terrible either. It was bad, but okay. The problem led elsewhere. We had so many characters, backstories, intricate plotlines and plot twists, and we just didn't know how to make it all cohesive. We weren't good enough to handle anything like that. Some of the mistakes we made then make me terrified even today. Since we loved the character, the character secretly, we wanted each chapter to change with the character's POV. And when the story was extremely intricate in the first place, we even added an in another element that interrupted the readers. We made it even more difficult for them to delve into the story. And honestly, many just didn't understand what was going on. We even wanted to change the art style after each chapter to make it seem as the different way the character sees the world. And I'm not saying that these ideas aren't good, because some of them are, but we just couldn't execute them back then. We were disappointed to say the least. We loved this story, it was our baby, 
and we butchered it. To this, after this, we can direct web comic webtoons. I still read a lot, but I didn't create. This was back in 2018. The rest of 2019 and beginning of 19, I worked, focused on my studies, and continued on with my life. I didn't draw, almost at all. Only small doodles on the rim of my uni notes. And then, in May of 2019, I bought a display tablet. I started drawing again, and by the end of the summer, I started having a small income stream from it, while I continued on with my studies. Then I left for Erasmus in Poland with my tablet, and I kept thinking of the webcomic, again and again and again. When I returned in February of 2020, Covid was already starting. I immediately went to my sister and pressed her to start again. My third webtoon. I bought a new display tablet since my old one broke, not even a new one, a huge refurbished one, and I started drawing again. I completed the first chapter of my own before I showed it to my sister. Let's do this, I remember telling her. And then, Covid hit. And suddenly, time became ours. And we started working on it. Every day, all day, we would play epic music on the background. And we would write and write and storyboard. We wrote hundreds of of pages of plot and we storyboarded more than 300 chapters. It was an amazing accomplishment and we were more than proud. This time we knew what we were doing plot-wise. We would set goals, keep the audience's attention, make them love the characters and guide the audience through the story. It was perfect in our eyes. More than anything, and we had more than enough material to get started. After that spring of constant writing and storyboarding, we were ready. On the summer of 2020, we started drawing it. We drew all day, and by the end of August, we already had five to six chapters ready to go. We made a prologue after them, and we started uploading. And we uploaded the prologue. And it went good. Better than anything I had ever seen on my previous webcomics. On the first week, we gained more than 100 subscribers, with the help of a little advertisement on a Facebook group and on a Reddit one. We were thrilled. And we started uploading. Again and again and again, every week. From October of 2020 until February of 2022. 84 chapters, each more than 40 panels long. But we stopped. We had failed again. What went wrong? Plot-wise, it was as good as we could do it. We gained a lot of traction of people who truly loved the story, who would think about it every day and ask us genuine questions, try to learn more about the stories, the plot, the characters, people who would send us fan art every week. They were truly, truly immersed on it. But... It never became famous. It gained close to 4,000 subscribers for the time we uploaded it. Right now I think it has more 5,000 or something. And it was an amazing number, but we worked too much on it, more than in any 9 to 5 work, without getting paid anything from it. We made huge chapters and would spend day and night every day of the week to finish them. But soon we realized that it would never get picked up. We, We realized that when we stopped uploading it. So, what was the problem? Honestly, I can only assume. Number one, the theme. Game of Death was mainly a fantasy comic with action elements. And although it had a few romance elements in it, it wasn't enough to be considered a romance webtoon. And we realized that romance is what most people want to read on webtoon. And those who wanted an action fantasy, they didn't search for it on canvas. Now, I'm not saying that no fantasy comic will go well on the platform, but let me tell you something that happened to us. There was a week on January of 2020 or 2021 when Python Originals gave away coins to anyone who read Canvas. And that's when we had more than a thousand or more subscribers, because most of the audience didn't bother to even check the Canvas category before. From those who read Webtoon, only a small percentage reads Canvas, and from those, an even smaller one would read a fantasy comic, especially one that isn't in the top page, and that you would only find it in the recently updated list if you filter the comics by date, and not by rate popularity.
In other words, it was difficult to even know that it existed. Number two, the art of the first chapter. As I explained earlier, we firstly drew the first five chapters and then we drew the prologue. And you could tell, everyone loved the art style of the prologue and our art there. And that's because we spent hours perfecting it and making it as cohesive and aesthetic as possible. But the first chapters, they weren't good enough. I didn't use references and I went for a more painterly children's book style that didn't work well with the genre. Later on in the story, we changed the art style completely and people could tell. We worked immensely and it was good enough. But the new readers didn't know that. They entered the story with a weird lanky art style and then they left. We redid the second art of our comic, but never the first. And that hurt the story for sure. My fourth webtoon, Success. On the summer of 2021, my sister started working on a new secret webtoon. And it picked up. You most likely know it if you're familiar with BL webtoons. Because it is one of the most popular uh, BL webtoons on the platform. Boy Girlfriend. I didn't know about it. I learned about it from TikTok when her video promoting it picked up. And she reached millions of views. And so she gained traction, a few hundreds, some thousands, 30 thousands, more than anything we had ever seen. Once she saw the numbers grow, she wanted to work on it more. I already did most of the work for Game of Death, so I didn't have time to work on anything of my own. I realized I had to make a decision for myself. It hurt me so damn much because I loved Game of Death. I still love it more than anything, but I just, it just didn't work. I didn't leave it at first, but I started working on a new webtoon of my own. It was one of the most difficult times of my life. I had to finish university, write my final thesis, keep uploading Game of Death, and create something new on my own. Something I didn't even know if it would work. That's when my mental health started taking a toll. I didn't go out almost at all, I drew all day, I studied, I worked, I had panic attacks every other day. And then, on November, I uploaded the first chapters, and a few more after that. It didn't gain tons of attention, but it still was more than any of my previous webtoons. People loved the art, they were intrigued by the story, and they wanted to see more of it. On January, I started my practical training for university, and since I was away for more than 10 hours every day, I decided to let Game of Death behind me. I cried so much that day, but I remembered my conviction. This isn't the end. It's only temporary, I said to myself, and it really wasn't. I started working on my new webtoon, it's called The Realm of Dreams, more. And not just on that on advertising as well. I would make new TikTok videos every day, hoping that something would work and the algorithm would pick up. And so it did. On the end of February of 2022, a video of mine got more than a million views and I started gaining more traction. I started growing my audience and I could even monetize. It was a dream come true And I keep at it until today with 64,000 people subscribed on my webcomic and 12,000 more on my second one. What went right this time? What did I do this time that I didn't do the previous time? Experience. I knew what I was doing. Set up a story, clear goals, specific likable characters and an intriguing story. An easy story to tag along with only two main characters and two or three background ones. Nothing too complicated. I wrote everything down and how I wanted it to look like. I made mood boards, found the aesthetic and art style that I wanted to, to, to move on with. I found color palettes, though some of the early chapters are still kind of different compared to the new ones. They aren't too bad or as different as the ones in Game of Death were, because I had an aesthetic style of my own. Right gender. This time I knew what the audience wanted to read. And that is romance. 
so I drew romance. Don't get me wrong, though. I know that what works for me best as an author is fantasy, so I made a romance fantasy. Do what the audience like, but also do what you enjoy. I also drew a BL. If I wanted to be consistent only with the audience's wants and needs, I would be doing a drama, slice of life, romance BL. But that wouldn't work with the way I want to write. How I want to serve hidden meanings, symbols, and magical elements in my stories. So I decided against it. Marketing. You may be an artist, but at the end of the day, you need to advertise your work. Even if you make the most amazing story with the best art, if the audience doesn't even know that it exists, they'll never read it. I was lucky enough to go on TikTok kind of early on, so I was able to make a few of my videos go viral and gain quite some traction. After that, and even though much fewer of my videos get viral on TikTok now, people can still find me on webtoon page, since now it's on the more popular ones on the tab. What now? Although I wouldn't consider myself the most successful uh, webtoon artist, definitely far from it, I'm quite proud of what I've achieved and how far I've come. Now I'm already in the midpoint of uh, my story, so I will keep making the realm of dreams, and I will continue on with my second comic, Solace. You can read both of them below, on, I will put the link below, you can read them on Web to Canvas. As for Game of Death, I am not giving it up. I just <laughs> love the story and the characters too much. And even though I don't know if I'll be able to make it a web comic, I have already started writing it as a book. Though with everything going on, I don't have time to write. But still, I'm not, not ever giving up on it. Some tips in conclusion, uh, my journey with Webtoon has been a long one, with many ups and downs. But if I learned anything from it, it would be don't give up if you believe in you and what you can do. Keep drawing, keep writing, keep practicing. Fail again and again and again, but never give up. Our dreams aren't there to stay dreams, they're there to be chased. Good luck everyone, and I can't wait until one day I will read your webtoon myself and think, damn, <laughs> I love this one. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe for more. Comment below your story webtoon plot, I would love to read through it and maybe give you my own tips.